I am. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, actually. I, I am excited about this uh, word, this brief word that I would like to give you and release to you briefly, uh, just five minutes. I just, um, I just dropped my son off back to school. Uh, he just been through the, um, just went through another robotics rehab um, session. He did again walk, probably about maybe four or five steps. Tried a new walker because the older walker was hurting his arms because when he walked, uh, a lot of the pressure on his arm because he's holding his weight up with his legs. And but the more the more his legs become stronger, uh, the more uh, the pressure will be taken off of his arms. Uh, but the word that I want to give to you today, and so God is doing great things and God is working miracles, but I do want to encourage you in this word here, and it's a direct word if you see it, it says to stand. Hello, Denise. God says he wants you to stand. Things might be hard, difficult, unbearable at times, but he wants you to stand. The Bible says, having done all to stand, stand Therefore, having your loins girded about with the truth. The truth is God's word. Standing a stance is a position. Just like prayer is a position. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, standing is a position. My son, and God taught me this. Um, he's been teaching me a lot through my son. My son, for seven weeks, he could move his legs. But when he began to move his, move his legs again, he learned how, or he started moving his legs again when he was on his knees. Definitely started moving his legs. Then it went from his knees. If you notice the videos I've been sending, it went from his knees and now he's standing. At first he was on his back. And now the videos that you see, uh, you'll see in between he's on his knees, but now what you will see him standing. And he can stand and he could walk a little bit, but it's a little difficult for him to walk because he has to get used to the weight. He got to get used to the, the shift of the weight and his muscles must even get stronger. And so that's why we got a stand door. The purpose of a stand door is for him to stand. And the more he stands, the more his ligaments, the more his muscles become stronger. And the more his muscles become stronger, I'm, I got a point that I'm going to get to, the easier that it'll be for him to stand. And also, the more his muscles become stronger, it gives him balance where he's able to balance. Also, in standing, he has to also have balance to be able to balance and shift his weight when he walks. So it's a process. It's a stages. It takes time. It's taking time day by day. He's getting stronger and stronger. And now, God, this is the word that I'm going to tell you concerning even that, that God taught me even through my son every day. Every day is a test. Every warfare that we face is test. They're tests. But God wants us to stand those tests, those warfares, those heavy things. The Bible says that glory and tribulation because tribulation work of patience, spirits, and hope. But also uh, tribulations and trials, it causes you to become perfected. That word perfected means to basically to become stronger to develop a little more, to become a little more mature, to a little more wiser. That's the perfect purpose of your pain. That's the perfect of the tribulations and the trials that you that you face. When you face them, it's like lifting weights. While you're facing them, don't run from them, but stand and face them. Face them. Because the more you face them and the more you bear them, the more your spiritual muscles are becoming stronger to stand. That's why the Bible says, after you've done all to stand, see, because when you've done all to stand at times, your legs and your stance will become weak, will become weary. But at the place where you become weary, weariness is a place of faint. Weariness is a place of despair or it's a place of being um, queasy. But in your stance, and see, even my son, while he's standing on that stander, his legs at times becomes wobbly. See, but they're getting stronger. And after, and then after he's standing, then uh, what happens? His muscles begin to grab. They begin to clench. That means that they are growing. They are working. And see, the next phase of his stance, of him standing, is also resting. That's 
how his mother's his 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 muscles is able to recover. Not mothers, but his muscles able to recover from the rest. The Bible said, Come unto me, all you that weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Along with your stance, you must have rest. And the rest that I'm I'm referring to in the Bible is referring to is trusting and believing God. See, he tells you to stand. He tells us to stand when we're going through tough, tough times, when we're going through trials and tribulations to stand. See, God knows what he's saying. The reason why he's telling us to stand because we're going to get stronger. That's why he's saying stand. See, you have strength already, but you're going to get even stronger because the muscles, the back, uh, the back, uh, the back wash or uh, the backup, the backup of your strength is getting stronger. The bath, the backup of your confidence is getting stronger. And so when you stand and when you are in a stance, even though you're carrying a whole lot of weight, that's why you must make sure you're in a proper position, a proper position, a stance, faith, your faith, your stance. When my son is standing, uh, he has to have his legs um, put from apart from each other and the purpose of his legs being a uh, certain uh, distance apart from his uh, apart from each other is for him to have balance when he get up to have balance there's certain things that you must separate that's why you must separate uh yourself from anything that will not cause you to have balance you must separate yourself from doubt you must separate yourself from fear and those people that will not cause you to have balance. Balance is also assistance, being ushered, to be in support. When you're standing and when you're going through tough times, it's very important to have a proper support system that will keep you or keep you, help you to keep your balance, to help you standing while your muscles are growing. And so the pro purpose of this word and the purpose of your stance and the purpose of God's word telling you to stand is that you're getting stronger, even though you feel weak because your strength is being used up, but you're getting stronger. God's grace is massaging your muscles. God's power is massaging your muscle and patience, time, rest is massaging your muscle. And that rest is trusting God. When you trust God in your situation, he's massaging your muscles. He's massaging your spiritual muscles. He's massaging your faith. He's massaging your confidence. Uh, God bless you, Denise. And so standing, stand, keep standing. You, you might get weak. You might need braces. You might need support for your balance. You might need your, your posture and your position, your legs to be uh, a certain distance to be able to keep your balance while you're standing. That way, when you, when you do get hit, you're able to gather yourself and keep standing. See, because while you're standing, you're holding on to faith. Just like my son, he was holding on to his walker. Why he can hold on to and stand up. See, but in the in the spiritual, you're holding on to faith. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God, Denise. Denise, keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. I'm praying for you and I'm praying with you. Keep me in your prayers as well. Keep standing at the place where you feel like cry, cry. See, because God wants your tears because there's healing and there's comfort in your tears. There's comfort in your tears. But what you need to realize also, there's going to come a time that God's going to wipe, wipe those tears away. There's an expiration date with those tears. But while you're crying, God bottles those tears up and those tears serve as a prayer. God see your tears and God hear your cry. And so, hear me and hear me well. Keep trusting and keep standing. Hold on. Hold on to the horns of the altar. God bless you. Do me a favor. Listen to this and share. God wants you healed. God wants you set free. God wants this message to get out to other people. The purpose of a testimony... Just like I mentioned about having a language, a language is to be able to relate to a person. If you've been through something, if you've been through a sickness, you've been through even not being saved or on the backside of the desert, on the backside of your walking, your journey in Christ. Maybe you, maybe you was on drugs at one time. Maybe you had a condition. Maybe you had a, a you couldn't walk. Maybe you needed healing. You maybe need deliverance. And God brought you out. The moment that God brought you out, 
it's your job to be obedient and tell people what God done for you. That's to be able to relate. And in that re relation, in that rate relate, there's a relation, there's a relationship that will be formed. And that relationship will cause God to get the glory because of your obedience. God bless you. Share. Listen and share. God bless you.